everyone, MJ here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are a subscriber. In this video, since it is Tuesday, I am going to be doing a tag. The tag I'm going to be doing today is an original book tag created by Jack over at the channel Spread Book Joy, as well as Shelly Swearingen. The name of this tag is the Picture This original book tag. Before we get started in this tag, remember to like this video, comment down below. Um, have you seen their videos? Are you into picture books? Um, should I pick up another picture book? Let me know, leave me a comment. And remember, subscribe to my channel. Now the answer to these questions do not have to be picture books and I don't have very many picture books. I actually have more than I thought I did. Um, and I will be featuring those um, in this tag, but um, my answer should be more bookish than picturish, if that makes sense. Prompt number one, name a book you imagine you will love forever. I already love this book. It's The Little Prince. It's one of my all time favorites. I read it every few years. Every time I read it, I get something else out of it. Um, it's just, it's just top notch for me. Uh, I read this first as an undergrad. Um, it was in a philosophy class and we really ripped it apart. And the meaning behind this book just rocked my world back then. So if you haven't read it, I suggest you do. Um, but this is absolutely one of my favorite books. And I will love it forever. Prompt number two, which books or comforting things do you turn to when having a bad day? I mentioned these books in a previous video. Um, these are three of my picture books. Um, they are Flowers in Bloom um, for different um, international cities. So the first one we have is London in Bloom. Then we have Paris in Bloom. Let's see that. And finally, we have New York in bloom. And these pictures are basically just uh, floral photos at the best time of the year to go and see um, flowers in each of these individual cities. And it's just, it's just stunning. That's Bleecker Street in New York. So if you're having a bad day, and you just make yourself a cup of tea and open up this book and just dive in with the photos, it's, it's gonna be an escape. So these definitely are my go-to. Um, I also have this sucker. This is uh, basically a calendar for every single year. This is a year in fashion, 365 days of fashion. Look, I turned to July 16th. It's Diana. Stunning. Um, but I will page, I don't page through this every day. What I do is when I am kind of just having a shit day, having a shite day, uh, I'll pick it up and I will go through it. And Fashion is one of my passions and, you know, remembering all of the different um, fashion models and designers and a lot of the designers that have passed, it just takes me back to that place where I'm watching um, the runways on TV and just, it's just amazing. This is... This is Jean-Paul Gaultier. Beautiful. So when I'm having a bad day, I'll turn to my year in fashion calendar and just kind of wipe it clean. The other thing that I'll do is I'll lift weights because I do CrossFit. <laughs> so I will um, work out. And usually when you're having a bad day, you work out, you're, you're doing okay after that. So there's that. Next prompt, which book series or character sparked my hunger for reading. I was a horse book girl growing up and I know there are horse book girls out there. Um, so the Black Stallion, Black Stallion for me 
uh, really got me into um, reading, reading um, not just that book, but the other books that were published. Uh, you know, just who doesn't want to read about a horse when you're, you know, eight years old? It's just, it's just fantasy and it, it's awesome. And, it, you know, it really did take me away. Um, you know, I was able to realize at a young age that that reading just transports you without leaving your home. And, you know, that's just when you're a little kid and, and you realize that, like, your life is just on point from there on out. Prompt number four. What's the most unusual book I've ever read? I'm reading it right now. House of Leaves. And I'm frustrated by this book. If I want to read that, I will pick up my E.E. E. Cummings poetry book that I have up there. Because basically, um, I mean, okay. E.E. E. Cummings is a poet. He had a very specific style, um, unique style. Um, he has kind of a sorted history a little bit. He might've used some improper language, um, et cetera, et cetera, but that's his poetry. And that's very similar to this book. This book is filled with pages like that. And pages like this. I had this as a buddy read. I'm gonna review this book and it's gonna be coming out on Thursday. Um, so this absolutely is the most unusual book I've read. Next prompt. What is your favorite book featuring the natural world? This is one of my go-tos. Um, I haven't read the whole thing from cover to cover in a long time. Um, probably probably since high school, but I will pull out another copy that this is my um, vintage copy, I guess. This is published from 1913. Um, and I will go through certain chapters. Um, this is Walden or Life in the Woods by Henry David Thoreau. And this was published by the Macmillan Company. There's Henry. Um, this is a Macmillan pocket classic. And I think this was some, no, I got this as a gift. I got this as a gift. Uh, and it's just, it's just fantastic. Um, you know, there's chapters on sounds, on solitude, on reading, where I lived, the economy, um, spring, the pond in winter, winter animals, uh, former inhabitants, brute neighbors, higher laws. There's a lot condensed in this book. If you've never read Walden by Henry David Thoreau, I highly suggest it. It is, I mean, is it still required reading in high school? I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, but we had to read this in high school and it made an impact on me back then. Uh, and once in a while I will pull it and just read one of those chapters that, you know, will speak to me that Day for whatever reason. So um, this is it for me. Next prompt. Do I read at bedtime? Yes, I try. And I fail sometimes at it miserably because I, um, I'm an early bird and I wake up early to go to the gym and it's usually about 10 to five. And after working out a full work day, coming home, I usually read a little bit uh, in the early evening, but by late evening, I'm done. So I'll maybe get 10 pages in and that's it and it's lights out. So I try, I try to read at bedtime. Did anyone ever read to me at bedtime? Yes, um, my mom and dad when I was a little kid. My, uh, well, we'll get to that in the next prompt, hold on. Okay, next prompt. Who had the biggest influence on you as a reader? That would be my parents. Um, I come from uh, a 
huge family of readers, uh, book collectors. Um, my dad uh, loved reading. He would read um, science fiction. One of my father's favorite books is Lost Horizon by James Hilton. I have two copies of it. Um, I am going to read that sometime this year, probably around the time of his birthday. Um, but both of my parents were big into reading and they got me to read at a very, very early age. Um, it was just something that we did in the house. I remember my mom, when I was little, would come home from like, um, uh, used bookstore book swap with a you know huge box of books and she would just devour them like potato chips and then a couple days later we would have to go back to the bookstore so she could swap them out and get other ones it was it was just mind-blowing but um, you know really having that influence as a kid helped develop my love of reading and my love of books so I'm thankful for that, so thanks mom and dad. Which set of books would you give to an emerging reader? I guess it would depend on their age and their taste. Um, my nephew, who is now gonna be 16, um, when he was little there was, I, I think, Disney releases of The Descendants or something like that, maybe. I was buying books for him and he was just gobbling those up. Um, but I, I guess it would depend on the person. I would never want to put my taste on anyone else. I would want to talk to them and find out um, what they're into. As a suggestion, um, maybe I would give them a copy of The Little Prince because I think that's that's a decent book that could go in a million different directions with you know genres and tastes. Um, I think it's, it's almost like a coverall. So that I would give, um, but I would I would want to know um, what the individual's tastes were first. Yeah, that's what I would do. Okay, and that's the tag. Um, I'm not tagging anyone, but they have in their videos, and I will link um, Shelly and Jack's channels down below. Um, please uh, check them out. But they have listed that anyone that wants to do the tag, please do the tag. So tag your it. All right, everyone, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I wish you all well, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye for now.